Hello guys and welcome to AVK App Reviews. Today we are going to see the review of Crexus ROM based on Android 6.0.1. So the Crexus ROM is based on AOSP. I am using this ROM for over a month now and I have tested 3 custom kernels with this ROM. The 3 custom kernels are Elemental S kernel, Blue Spark kernel and Franco kernel. So as you can see this ROM provides Android 6.0.1 and the build number is MMB29V. So let's move ahead and take a look at installation process for this ROM. Now for installation, you have to go to this XDA thread, link for this page will be given in the description below. So here you will find all the information about this ROM and the zip file for this ROM. Now for gapps, you can use any gapps file that is compatible with Android 6.0.1. I am using the open gapps here. So you have to flash the ROM file and the gapps file in the recovery and you are good to go. You can check out my video about ROM installation up here. Now we will check out the benchmark scores for this ROM. Now all the scores are recorded at fully charged battery. So this is the benchmark score for stock kernel. And these are the benchmark score for 3 custom kernel. The Elemental X kernel has the highest benchmark scores among all the kernels. Now we will check out the battery performance of the Crexus ROM. So all the battery stats are taken after minimum 4 to 5 charge cycle. The setting and usage scenario during battery testing is as follow. So these are the stats for stock kernel. And these are the stats for custom kernels. So I have installed all the custom kernel with the default settings. So the battery life of this ROM is good with some kernels and average with some other kernels. As you can see the blue spark kernel has the highest SOT among the other kernels. The average SOT for this ROM is about 4 hours. So my top 3 kernel recommendations are blue spark kernel, franco kernel and stock kernel. Now we will check out different customization options available on Crexus ROM. So this ROM provides some basic customization options that we use mostly on every ROM. So all the options can be found under system UI tab in settings menu. So the first option is status bar. Here you can hide the unwanted icons from status bar. Then next option is quick settings. Here you can rearrange your quick setting panel. Then next option is clock and date. You can customize the clock alignment, AMPM indicator, date options from here. Then next is battery. Here you can change the battery status style and enable the battery percentage indication. Then next is navigation bar. Here you can adjust the navigation bar height. Other settings like double tap on power button for camera, volume button wake up can be found under display settings. The Crexus ROM has native support for layers. So you can apply different layers theme to customize your UI as per your taste. In terms of gaming and multitasking, the ROM is very good. Games run smoothly on this ROM. Also in multitasking, the transition between the apps is very smooth. So it's time for final verdict about the Crexus ROM. In my extended use of this ROM, I find this ROM very smooth, fast and battery efficient. Also the ROM provides very good customization options. I never notice any freezing issue or any random reboot during my usage. So if you want a ROM based on AOSP with good combination of customization, performance and battery life, then Crexus ROM is for you. Let me know your thought about this ROM in the comments below. If you find this video informative and interesting, hit like button below and share this video. Subscribe to my channel for more such video. You can follow me on Google Plus and Twitter. Thank you for watching my video. I will see you in my next video.